boy. Hey, man, if I was spinning, I'd do what I want. <laughs> well, merry go round, as we mentioned before, is going to be the map for set number five. It's going to be a bit of a crazy one. Stats versus Classic, a PvP. Both these players duking it out, trying to make it into the finals. By the way, for you guys who haven't checked Twitter, the finals has been moved back to the arena. It's not going to be out there on the Han River anymore because of MERS. The virus break out here in Korea. It's just too dangerous to have it out there. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's summoning the game right now. Set number five on Merry Go Round. Up here in the top right, we do have the Blue Rupertos player from SKT. He is... Classic. The Winning chin. the last two games, the Chin God, the Zealot, Tassadar. Tassado. Tassado. <laughs> uh. Bottom of the map in the south, 6 o'clock, Red Protoss from the KT Rolster Pro Gaming team, it is stats. Well said, Valdez. Now, as I said before, as I said, I was like, yeah, as we went into game, but I never actually said anything else. <laughs> it was kind of strange. So I was going to say, Merz is ruining all the fun out here, Valdez. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty dangerous time to be here, I guess. So I don't think it's spread spreading that much. It's not like insane amounts, but I didn't read the news. It's just consistent is kind of the scary part. Keeps popping up. Yeah. People keep dying. People keep getting infected. Mm. And uh, Don't go kissing strangers. No, don't do that. That's very dangerous. Even if there weren't MERS. Uh, you don't want to <laughs> be sent to, to jail or the hospital, depending on who you kiss. <laughs> Why um, would you go to jail? <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, like... Under, well, I don't think that's... Well, like, you I don't know. Run it's like sexual harassment. No, I mean, like, it's obviously, like, if both parties agree. Well, I, I'm not yeah, suggesting anything well, else. I thought that's what you were suggesting, Wade. I know I kind of mind you. <laughs> I only want to kiss you, Valdez. Oh, uh, thanks, Wade, <laughs> I guess. But I have mirrors, so you better watch Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I've been staying away from you these days. I don't want to get the mirrors. Well, it's kind of scary. Ultra Festival is tomorrow, Valdez. Like, what happens then? That's, uh, there's going to be a lot of people there. That's, uh, it's kind of like a MERS pool party, basically. Yeah, it's going to, like, where the MERS bomb goes off, right? Pretty much. It's where the youth gets the MERS. Yeah. If one person has it there, someone's screaming the lyrics, they spit all over someone else, they get MERS, they spread it to someone else, there you go. That's how it happens. It's how career gets infected. Oh, well. Kind of. Talk thing going into game five here, Valdez. <laughs> Somehow we picked game five to be the Merge Talk game. <laughs> it was always going to happen. Uh, for Hero versus Dream, it was like game one or two. We just had to get it out of the way that time, but it was still fresh. Yeah, it, was it, like, it was it was fresh news, exciting news. Now it's kind of like we're just dealing with it. Yeah. Like, uh, it's like, oh, it's still here. It's getting bigger, man. We had to mention it, of course, because of the uh, the venue change for the finals of the Spanish Star League. That's right. That's that's how we got to it. So we're probably going to be casting in that booth. Yeah, man. Well, that's the safe place, right? We're not going to yeah. get Merz in there. <laughs> Just lock us up. Voluntary quarantine. In the corner of the studio. Why not? Mm. Both parties going for uh, Twilight Council, fellas. A little bit later there for Classic. Yeah. What does he get instead? There's like an extra stalker. Possibly. A bit of an earlier stalker. A bit of an earlier stalker. And an extra gate, it looks like. Hmm, let's see if he adds a third one. We usually have been seeing the third gate okay. go down. And yeah. Yeah, there we go. So we've seen, been seeing this a lot so far, and both players going for it. You see a lot of blink stalkers come out on the map, maybe some aggression. It's going to be a, it's kind of a safe play as well, though. To be able to deflect just about anything. 
Probably want to throw down a Robo at some point soon as well. Maybe after that Nexus. Classic Stalker. Just wanted to get the Scout on the Nexus, and then he just goes away. There's that Robo for stats and Classic, so they're just playing a pretty safety, uh, normal game in this map. Yeah, Not going to be a build. Up. Yeah. The merry go a bit of a wonky one. You uh, you always want to just be safe on this one. It's, it's kind of scary. There's a lot of different places for proxies, as well as uh, it's pretty easy to get your pylon down. Good thing for Classic, he did scout the pylon of stats. Yeah, that is true. And another thing is Blink Stalkers on this map do have a, a great avenue to blink into the main base, as well as the natural, so there's a lot of uh, potential for aggression. Stats is one Stalker ahead, and also he's got the Blink ahead. Yeah, oh. he doesn't have it just yet, though, so he's got to be careful. Let's see if he forces it. He's got that Blink. Where's his sixth Stalker? Ooh, yeah, this is not, not a good trade at all. That's simply too many Stalkers for him to engage into. Yeah, and now he's saying, okay, if you went Blink, which it looks like with the Sony Stalkers, I just have to get out of here. And he puts down his Nexus first. That's one thing he's got going for him. Yeah, he's got this Contain. On to Classic oh, for now. Beautiful scout from Classic, though. Mm, he He's been scout. so good with these probes. Game number one, if you remember, scouts the, uh, I think it was the Twilight Council. And uh, here in this game, he gets the scout right when that Nexus goes down. Yeah. Finally moves down his ramp as well. He's going to place his own down, but a little bit behind. It's just slight mix-ups in builds. Classic goes for an extra Immortal first, probably just to be safe. And stats because he had the map control gets his nexus down slightly faster. So marginal things here in this game. We're gonna try to transition into a bit of a mid game now. Stats just wandering him out around the map looking for pylons. Classic was able to snipe out one of stats, supply blocking him shortly. We might see another one of these mid game sort of uh, colossus battles before it ends. Valdez third like base. It. But the third base on this map is pretty difficult to hold on to, which is why we rarely see Protoss come out in this map in, like, Pro League, for instance, yeah. uh, it, in the past. It, it has been, like, one of these tricky maps. So uh, the principles that still apply even in a PvP is that third base is very exposed. They're probably going to go for those middle bases. Though, you know, Classic does have the option to go for that further away one at the top, uh, right at the top there. But stats, he's, he's, his position is not as good, so he'll have to go for that middle base. It's going to be a little bit more exposed. If Classic wants to be aggressive, that'd be the place to do it. I wonder if he'll go for some kind of two-base play because he knows this, or if he's just going to play with that disadvantage. What do you think he would do, Wade? I think he's going to just play with that disadvantage, judging especially by his tech route. He's going into the Colossus now. He's got a couple of Immortals out. It's kind of like what we saw him do in the previous uh, game. I believe it was... Um, I might have even, actually it was game one, Expedition Lost. He went for that same sort of uh, composition, same sort of opening. And then from here, he goes into Robo Bake, adds Colossus. Ooh, very important pick right there, getting rid of that Observer. Yeah. So kind of transitioning through here. Stats, he, he looked better the last time these guys played a game like this, like you were mentioning on game number one, but... It was kind of just classic, maybe showing a bit of rustiness in the first game. You know, maybe he wasn't fully warmed up. Uh, just kind of making small mistakes that threw him the game. I think he'll look a lot more solid here. Yeah, well, he's on that two-game win streak already, so he's ri riding a wave right now. He's looking much better, much more confident, though he's still pretty stressed out. But let's see what happens at this point. We're going to see more gateways go down for both players. Getting that production up while this Colossus start pumping out. Three gates each. And Classic is going to get another scout on this pylon. I don't know how he consistently does this. It's actually kind of weird. Yeah, He's got just really nice sense of the game. Like, he knows when to scout for pylons. He's like, okay, I think my opponent is going to put down one here uh, just for the future. You know, so he can reinforce a bit better. Ooh, might be a Stalker fight in the middle here. Stats. Classic are going to meet in just a second. Big whoop in, or triple whoop in of Stalkers. Not going to amount to anything, unfortunately. Classic is going to get away. Yeah, and in fact, Stats 
he commits to three more stalkers. And if this goes very, very late, you're not going to really want those stalkers. Yeah, that's a bad investment. Um, yeah, you, you really don't want them at this point. You want to be making Colossus upgrades, Immortals, and Zealots slash Archons to tank for it all. See? Yeah. So Quite the waste. Classic almost baiting stats into making units that he didn't want to make because he thought he could get like a, a quick little advantage there by taking out some of the stalkers of Classic, but that's mm. not the case. Bit of an indirect advantage. Yeah. It's kind of a, more of a mistake from or a blunder from stats, just investing in that little bit more. And if you'll notice, Classic is able to get out of the Templar Archives faster, the charge faster, and uh, even the range here is slightly faster. Uh oh, oh bit of a move wow. command. And now a bunch of his stalkers that he invested into are going to go down. Well, that changes everything. Weird mistake there. Whoa. Okay. The rest of the army is going to come together here as Classic moves towards the Zelnager. He's got complete vision of that middle, so Sass has got to be careful where he positions himself as he puts that third base in the middle. Classic going to get down his third base slightly ahead. Very slight. Classic's going to be careful from here. He cannot take. He cannot be throwing away units like that. Not when he's got this base up. He's got to make sure he's, he's in a good place for it because it can get focused down pretty easily. There's a lot of angles to deal with these middle bases. And once you've lost a bunch of stalkers for no reason as well, it just gets a little bit easier. Looks like he's going to try and claim the middle there so he has the positional advantage. Got to snipe careful. out of Pylon. Small victory there, but Classic, he does have a probe with this, and he has out that War Prison. Maybe he's going to force a fight and do exactly what Stats did to him in the first game. Just he's get that War Prism in behind, you know, harass with it first, go for a bit of a drop, pull some of the army back of Stats, and then move that War Prism into position behind the army of Stats. Yeah, well, look at this. He's going towards the natural. There is a cannon there already. Stats just may have to give up this base. I don't know. I don't think he can. I think he has to make sure he can defend it. He's going to maybe save some warpins for this warprism as he does. So he's going to head towards the main base. And he's going to make sure his army's in place, though. He's expecting Classic to move down at any point. And here, here we go. go. Huge time warp on the entire army of stats. Two of them, in fact, gets all of the Colossi. And there we go. The Zealots are dropped in behind. He's got more Archons. And it looks like Classic in a great position to take this fight. Yeah, fantastic play, uh, placement of his army and that time walk. And now the third completely exposed. And there's really no way for Stats to come back and defend against this. He's always going to be at a disadvantage in terms of concave and position. Yeah, and I love that Classic. Doesn't give him a chance to warp in much more. He's just going straight for the kill. Wants to take out those expensive Colossi. And now everything grouping up behind here. He's going to pull the probes in desperation. The Classic. Looking so strong in game number five once again. is going to pull ahead to a 3-2 lead. Yeah, he's gaining a pretty important lead at this point. GG. Three games in a row now, Valdez. Classic coming back in a big way. And Stats, he might be a little flustered after that one. Yeah. That was just, once again, Classic playing the stronger game. He's definitely getting that momentum, that confidence. The coach comes in after every single game, gives him a really big talk, talks him up, even gives him that confidence. And for the first time in the series, Stats is actually nodding his head in kind of disbelief. Uh, Listening to his coach, he's like, yeah. all right, I can't believe that actually happened. I'm messing up a bit. Yeah, coach is like, man, you really screwed that up, man. Don't whoop in stalkers. Don't that. move command them into the entire army of your opponents. Yeah. Just don't get out of position like that. He didn't have a, his war prism of his own on the mat, you know, creating that same sort of uh, harassment that Classic was. And I think that's really important to have at the at stage of the game. You got to have a war prism on the map, threatening a counter attack, threatening a you know to, to pull him out of position. But Classic had that momentum from killing those stalkers early on and deflecting everything early on. And and yeah, he, he just. He's got a, some pretty decent momentum right now. He's looking good. Yeah. He's bulldozing over stats. Now he's one game away from making it into the finals. And Teammate finals, man. He's made it here before. He's made it into a, a team kill finals before as well, where he took yeah. out Sue. And, you know, I think if there were one player to come out of this and challenge Dream, I think it would be stats. And Classic, if he gets through in this PvP... I think he gets stomped. I think he gets stomped. I, I, I was about so. to say the same thing. Like, but, I mean... The, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy how we think alike Valdez. Um, <laughs> yes, but, it is, Swing Blade. But the, the weird thing is, the problem is with these team teammate fights, uh, mm -hmm. 
is there's so much meta to it. There's so much like under it's true. like hidden meta that these guys know each other way too well for the games to look like normal games where like it comes down to something completely different in the mindset yeah. and the mind games. Either way, it's going to be a sick finals between these two players. We're going to take a 10-minute break before we get to more games.